Hello, and how you doing? Good to see you here. Let's get right to it. Come on. This is my living room. I like to keep flowers in my house. I like to be one with the earth. I have a lot of stones in this house. I've named all of my plants. This is Big Papa right here. <laughs> Two pockets on one other side of the room. You have to keep them separated, you know. So here we are in the kitchen. I always like to stay real healthy. That's how I keep this body, you know, to keep this six pack of stomach rice. I eat a lot of fruit, as you can see. And me and my friends spend a lot of time here if we're not in the kitchen cooking. Right, I don't even cook. As you can see, there is nothing in my refrigerator but water. Water and wine. Keep a clear mind. This is the dining room. We don't spend a lot of time in here, so it looks very nice and well set. Like the chandelier. It's not your normal chandelier. It's just kind of funky and fun. This painting, the reason why I like it so much because imagine this all being black and the artist does everything with a razor. Every image is basically carved out, this entire piece. Now we move on to the best room in the house. This is the music room. This piece behind me, it's magnificent. It's a portrait of Marvin Gaye. One of my most prized possessions is some of my photographs. I got Charlie Parker up there on the horn, Sarah Vaughn over here. I don't play the piano, but I do have a lot of musical friends. And so they come over, they play, and we just, you know, sit around here, sing, and just have a good time. Now we make our way to the bedroom. I'm sort of a guest in my own house because this room hasn't been finished. We're actually in the middle of construction. I want to tell you guys a little bit about what it's going to look like. My designers, they've made the plans for the room. They set everything out. This is some of the different textures, with, like different furs. The bed is going to be made in leather. This is sort of how the room is set up. Look at that. Got a fireplace in the room, beautiful chandelier over here. This closet over here is just specifically for my suits and more dressy attire. It's very bourgeois in here. I'd say I've collected over 2,000 pair of shoes. I don't dress up that much. When I want to dress down, that's where I come. That's why I keep all of my tennis shoes. I collect like mad Jordans. I have every Jordan ever. So now I'm taking it upstairs. <laughs> I'm laughing because every time I walk up these steps, I'm very cautious. Like last Christmas, I fell down this entire flight of steps. <laughs> and I step and I just shoot, go, 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 then roll down that way, it's terrible. This is why I sleep until my other room gets done. My mother designed this room. She uh, basically set it up for me, it's real elegant. Eventually this will become a guest room. This is my mother's area. She lives down the street. When she's not here, if I want to get close to my mom, sometimes I might sit in here and, and just sort of fill her. My mother's like my best friend, my heart, I love her to death. Everything from the lighting to the textures, the colors, everything is my mother in this room. And uh, this is where my hidden closet is. This is my cedar closet. Most of my tour clothing or uh, just clothing from different seasons are held up here. This right here is my favorite fur coat. My mother bought this for me about two years ago. I feel like the Mac when I got this thing on. You know, I was basically pimping, you know, do my thing. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just keep it on. We just, you know, roll out throughout the house. See what I'm saying? You dig what I'm saying, baby? Now we're gonna take a look at my car before we hit the guest house. I have a nice car. I got a Lincoln Navigator right here. It doesn't have the twinky twinkies on. It doesn't have the 22 inch rims, but it's got a nice sound system and a lot of meaning. This is the first car that I ever purchased. This Porsche was given to me by L.A. Reed, his first gift. That back there, that's my, that's my dog right there. I call it my Boricua. See, this is where the party happens right here. We come in, music is blasting, it's like, you know, all out fun. Just let me take this thing, I'm getting hot. <laughs> that's my sofa, nobody sits on that sofa but me kitchen area. We're we'll gonna make our way down to the studio. Come on. Come on. This actually is L.A. Reed's old house. I remember as a kid sitting up in the kitchen saying, wow, L.A. Reed, man, one day I want to own a house like this. And I ended up buying this house. Ain't that something? This is the hottest studio in Atlanta forever. When I'm here, 
in the uh, uh, summertime, we all get together and just have a good time here at the pool. You can't really explain this too much. You, know, you got, you know, furniture and pool. You just sit down and we'll get in. <laughs> This is how brothers should do it, you know. You know, we don't have to go out in the city and have a good time. We bring the party to us. Listen, I hope you guys had a wonderful time in the wonderful world of you. This is my humble home. Thank you. It was a pleasure having you here. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here.